If you've downloaded large files online, you may have encountered a protocol called BitTorrent. BitTorrent is an interesting approach to transport. It uses TCP internally. BitTorrent is trying to solve a little bit of a different problem. So let's talk about what the problem is and how BitTorrent approaches it. Let's say I have a large file, something like, for example, the image for a Linux distribution or something like that. And I want to be able to serve this file to a large number of clients all over the world. One way to do that is to put that large file on a server that's on the internet somewhere. So here's my huge file. This is a, you know, a ISO image for, let's say, Ubuntu. And then I have these clients download the file, right? So I have four clients that are trying to download the file, and I have them all downloading from this one central server. Here's the problem with this approach. This will create a bottleneck somewhere on the internet. So somewhere close to the server, probably, it's possible that um, all the traffic generated by this download is going to eventually reach some point on the internet where it's going to hit a router and it may overload that router and so everything's going to start to slow down. BitTorrent is designed to allow groups of people to share a single large file more efficiently. So here's how it works. BitTorrent is a peer-to-peer -peer protocol, so it doesn't rely on the existence of a server somewhere in the internet. Um, this is by design. This makes the protocol more robust. As long as there are, are, is one computer out there that has an entire copy of this file, uh, it can see the rest of the network. So um, you may have, if you've used BitTorrent, you may have been asked to keep your computer on and seeding the file that you've downloaded, and this is so other people can start the download process. So in order for BitTorrent to work, somebody has to have, or the simplest example is that someone has a whole copy of the file. So let's imagine this computer up here in the corner has a whole copy of this uh, large, um, large image. And when three other clients start to download it, here's what we're going to do. We're going to break that file up into three pieces. So I'm going to break it up. One, two, three. Here's my big file. And this client is going to start to download three first. This client is going to start to download two first. And this client is going to start to download one first. Now, initially, the download proceeds as normal, and it's possible that this step creates the same bottleneck that we were talking about before. So this may occur a little bit slowly because uh, there's now a bottleneck close to this node, um, but we're only downloading a third of the file. So at some point, this guy has piece three, this guy has piece two, and this guy over here has piece one. So that's the first step. Now, you might think, well, what do I have to do in order for these guys to finish the file. Well, this guy needs piece two and three, this guy needs piece one and three, and this guy needs piece one and two. And so what BitTorrent does is it allows these three computers to cooperate to swap uh, the pieces that they need. So this guy is gonna send a copy of piece one here and here. This guy is gonna send a copy of piece two here and here. And this guy is gonna send a copy of piece three here and here. And this ends up looking fairly complicated. We've sort of created this fully connected graph of these nodes exchanging the parts of the file so that at the end of the day, they have all of the parts of the file that they need and re they can reconstruct the entire thing. And the reason that BitTorrent works is because of this fully connected graph. So by establishing so many different connections between nodes on the internet, we're making a better use of all the available bandwidth that's out there in the world. So the connection between these two computers um, is unlikely, it may, but it's unlikely to interfere as much with the connection between these two computers and so on. So by having the, all the computers exchange these parts of the file that they have, we can allow the file uh, download to complete much more quickly. The other thing that BitTorrent takes advantage of um, or exploits is this property that's known as upload-download asymmetry. And this is particularly important for computers that are connected to the internet um, over residential internet connections, like through a cable connection or a DSL connection. Because frequently, those connections are configured, and you can, you can find this out at home. You can run a speed test, and you can see this. This is why speed tests that you run will test both the upload bandwidth and the download bandwidth separately. Because a lot of those connections are configured so that even if you get really, really, really high download bandwidth, your upload bandwidth is still pretty small. 
And this is intentional. This is because a lot of people at home spend a lot of time downloading stuff off the internet and a lot less time uploading stuff. And so when you're thinking about a peer-to-peer -peer approach to distributing a file like this, one thing that can happen is that a single computer, if it has to, let's say that I, I have a computer here, and we're, let's, well, let's say that we're starting this process, right? We start over here, this guy has to distribute all these three chunks to the other computers in the network. If he's on a residential internet connection, which is frequently the case when you're using BitTorrent, his, uh, this internet connection is going to be quite slow because he's uploading data to the other clients. Once I have these pieces distributed well, the clients are utilizing all the available upload bandwidth. So this guy is getting an upload from this one and this one, and so BitTorrent is designed to try to make use of all the upload bandwidth in the network, but it also reflects the fact that frequently at the edges of the network, people can download things much faster than they can upload them.